Doctor? Yes, Tanya? What if it looks like Earth? Feels like Earth? And, and smells like Earth? Play nice, Doctor. I'm sorry, my dear. Go on, Tanya, please. Well, if the TARDIS console isn't working properly, like you said, well, how can we be certain we aren't back on Earth? My dear Tanya, have you ever... Do you know how long I've... Oh, a Time Lord can just sense these things, OK? But how, Doctor? Oh, Xavier, will you explain to your new friend, please? I'm not here to cater for your lack of social skills, Doctor. Extraordinary. Could that be...? Extraordinary indeed. Is he always like this? When I first met the Doctor, he told me the only way I could learn was to ask him the right questions. And did you? <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> It just really feels like we're back on Earth. You miss your family, don't you? Of course I do. What about your family? Do they know where you are? I have no family. My planet was destroyed by some creatures, sort of robots. The doctor explains it better. They were called Daleks. Oh, Xavier, I'm so sorry. That's how I met the doctor. He just appeared in the final battle. We lost. But he rescued me, and I've been travelling with him ever since. I didn't know. Is that what he does? Come and save the day at the last minute? Not always. Xavier! Tanya! Come here! What do you make of this? I don't know. It looks like a fragment of a starliner. Cruiser, perhaps. Ah, yes. Looks like. Why don't we let our new friend see what she thinks? Me, Doctor? I'm sure I wouldn't have a clue. Clever. Doctor? Am I clever, Tanya? Do you find me to be clever? Doctor! Yes, of course you are. And why do you suppose I allowed you to travel with Xavier and me? I... I don't know. Because, my dear, you possess the ability to be brilliant. Not brilliant like me, of course, but certainly a match for our lovely Xavier here. Oh, I don't think... And capable of great things, if you just believe in yourself. There's a compliment in there somewhere, Tanya. No, not a compliment. I never compliment. I simply state the facts as I see them. Now, Xavier doesn't know what this is, but you do. OK, let me see, please, Xavier. What do you see? It's metal. It's very bright and clean. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and tell me what's wrong with it. I... I don't believe it. What? What is it? Go on, Tanya. It... it isn't cold to touch. It's not warm either. Bravo. Bravo indeed, Tanya. But it can't be metal. But it is surely. No, Tanya. It's called sarsium and it comes from a planet that came very close to utter destruction. And it shouldn't be here unless... Unless what, Doctor? Come on, we need to get back to the TARDIS. We need to analyse that sarsium. What's wrong, Doctor? Shh! No, wait. What are we waiting for, Doctor? Hmm? What? Doctor, the TARDIS. Can we go back now? The TARDIS, yes. No, of course not. Still plenty of work to be done here. But you just said... Xavier, you've used my sonic screwdriver. You're capable of scanning, yes? Yes. It's set to detect any material that comes into contact with the Time Lord. 
Now, I need you and Tanya to scan all of these ruins and come back and tell me if it flashes purple or reacts in any way. Purple? Wait, what do you mean react? Yes, purple. It's a colour most common on your planet, I believe. But be careful. There's a small chance it might blow up in your face. Oh, great. Thank you very much, Doctor. Don't worry. There's definitely a chance that it won't. Doctor! <laughs> Doctor! Confused as always. <laughs> Where are you? Show yourself! Doctor, what's happening? Over here, Doctor. One step ahead of you as always. It... it can't be! You can't be here! If indeed it is you. Oh, but it is me, Doctor. And once again I find you stumped and confused like the placid, dim-witted fool that you are. So, it is you. Always the one for clever speeches. Who is it, Doctor? That's my best enemy. He likes to be known as the Master, don't you? Yes, as you do the Doctor. Doctor! Whatever happens, stay hidden. What are you going to do, Doctor? I'm going to go and talk to him. Doctor, watch out! He's armed! Like a schoolboy with a new toy? Can't you ever be more imaginative than simply pointing a gun? Be careful, Doctor. Don't cross me this time. Another regeneration! Well, you should know by now, I can never die. And you? A new face and yet you're still dressing like a dandy. And you? You've kept that rubbish beard. A dandy? A dandy? Did he just... Tanya, you don't think I dress like a dandy, do you? Well, Doctor, you... I have an excellent eye for colour and contrast. Anyway, this has been pleasant. Now tell me your whole plan. Why not? You can hardly stop me. First, I'm going to rid the cosmos of your interfering self, take my place as ruler of this planet, and then, well. Doctor, be careful. My dear Tanya, he won't hurt me. Wrong again, Doctor. <laughs> Do ah! Doctor, are you okay? What have you done to him, you monster? I've merely disabled him, my fine girl. Will he be okay? For the moment. Don't worry, child. The next shot will be fatal. No! <laughs> you call yourself master, yet all you do is kill. You would destroy the cosmos just to feel powerful. Well done, Doctor. Correct at last. And now, Doctor, parting is such sweet sorrow. But all good things must come to an end. Regeneration after regeneration. And you never change! I'm glad you approve. Now, around the doctor's neck you'll find the key to the TARDIS. Kindly remove it and give it to me. What do you want with my TARDIS? Your TARDIS? Was it not you who stole it from our lords and masters back on Gallifrey? I'm just taking it back. It's my TARDIS. MINE! Don't give it to him, Tanya. I'm sorry, Doctor. I have to. He'll destroy you. If we give you the TARDIS key, Will you promise not to harm him or us? Very well. Finally, a good choice. What a shame your choice in friends wasn't quite so good. And now, Doctor, at last. You've got the TARDIS key. Just leave us alone. Very well. I suppose your death will just have to wait. I'm content with my little victory for now, leaving you stranded on this miserable planet. Goodbye, Doctor. I'm sorry, Doctor. We had no choice. Saviour! My heart! Ah! Doctor, ah. no! Saviour, do something! Doctor, d tell us what we can do to help. Tell us! It's the end. What's happening? Doctor, don't you dare die. Don't. Don't give up, Doctor. Don't you dare. What do we do? Doctor, please. Doctor, when my whole planet was burning and the Daleks were killing everyone and all of our soldiers were running in terror, you stood in their way and you saved me. I can't believe you would do that and just leave me here now. Doctor. Oh, yes. It's just what I needed. Doctor. 
Doctor, you're alive! Yes. Oh yes, of course I am. It takes more than a maniac with a disabler gun to stop me. Besides, I can't leave you two here stranded like this. But that awful man took the TARDIS. Yes. <sighs> Screwdriver? Then let's get it back. Yes. Tanya. Doctor. You did well. Now let's get my TARDIS back. Come on then, Doctor, let's go.